Hello, welcome back to Open Sushi Live Coding. In this episode, I'll be doing um, an improvisations using stretch of nodes and geometry nodes. Alright, so let's get started. So basically, the idea is to use Blender Dynamic Paint to generate weight that will generate objects. However, we're gonna set it up everything using Spectro. So let's say I'm start. I started with a with a torus. I'm gonna create the actual torus. So this is the output, the first output, and then I just simply turn it off. Okay. So I still keep the visibility, but it's turned off, and you should be able to paint the weight on this guy. And then I will create a vector sort. So with this guy, I can sort the vector of this torus. Okay, now it, it is now sorted. And if I connect the dots, um, you will see we have this, if I turn on the edge, so this is the vertex being sorted. You can choose the sorting XYZ or with the connection. So connection is the one that I will use for today, I guess. So let's save this, uh, save this pretty quickly, SV, um, geometry nodes. So slightly complicated at the moment still not sure exactly what I'm creating but it's like it's like a cooking show or a magic show we're gonna see a result in the end okay now I'm using this icosphere and I will be creating another mess viewer and then I will just plug this there so this will create a lot of lots of icosphere but you don't, we don't want that we just want to use this item and simply move move the icosphere like this okay so this is the the main idea so we are creating some kind of brush that will go around and paint every area of the, the donut okay cool why why do we want to do this um, I'll show you so this is if I turn this into a canvas object using dynamic paint and if I turn this this icosphere into a dynamic paint brass object we can paint over the torus okay so that's the idea and I can set this to pin weight and then for the cache output I'm gonna turn this dynamic paint weight and I do a command copy so I copy that thing so now, hopefully, if I do this properly, if I use frame, plug this in, you can see this guy is going to be painted. Uh, let's see if this is working. So this is the this is the main idea, what I'm trying to create. Maybe the effect is a bit strong there, but uh, eventually the icosphere will paint the whole torus. Okay, so we might need to increase this to 500. And with the brush, so with the brush object, we can reduce the distance. So if we select the canvas objects once again and the weight paint. Now, okay. This is a little bit better. Okay, now I save this. Save it again. So now I want to create um, 
maybe just a box just the default cube make this smaller now we'll paint this as instance geometry object okay so geometry editor on this guy and we're gonna grab the weight distribute based on the density all right so this is supposed to be working I think. you see how the, the dy dynamic paint is painting weight on this donut and now it's growing and we can increase this to 500 and while it's creating point cloud you can actually bake the point cloud by the way it's kind of interesting so you can instance some geometry here default cube and while it's running you can also randomize the attribute scale rotations you know the usual drill Yes, I think this again and again, so you can to understand it. And yeah, it's no longer about memorizing. It's it's uh, just inside your head, and you don't even need to think anymore. So this is the whole effect. So the dynamic paint is working and generating the effects a little bit by little bit, and finally it's gonna cover everything. Okay, so that's uh, that's basically it. It's a, uh, uh, yeah, I think it can be improved. I mean, you can make variation of this, but I think this is one of the idea. You can actually take advantage of the dynamic paint, and so currently it's painting. You can actually dissolve it as well. So while it's running and painting, the back part will disappear. So currently what's missing with this effect is the is the fact that there's a paint weight, there's a weighting happening, it's doing the mask. However, we don't see the result of the weight. We probably need to multiply the weight and the scale together. So I haven't I haven't done that. So we might be able to attribute mix so from the geometry if we plug this geometry there and we have this scale attribute random scale and we have this dp weight maybe we can multiply it and create a scale mix attribute I don't know, maybe scale. So it's mixing, supposedly mixing the attribute together. Multiply. So it doesn't work. Yeah, I don't know why. I kind of want to see smaller cube where the weight is actually less. In theory, it should work, but maybe I have to do it before the point distribute. Uh, point distribute will distribute points, and then we scale and rotation. We can randomize the points. However, the scale yeah, it doesn't seem to work. maybe you know if you know how to do this uh, please do let me know in the comments below so thanks again for tuning in and I guess I'll see you next time thank you bye